Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Borg Warner. Feel good about driving. Bridgestone, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, improving durability and increasing design flexibility with Betamate structural adhesives at DowBetamate.com. And by the 2013 Hyundai Sonata. Learn more at HyundaiSonata.com. Thanks for joining us for AutoLine Daily as we're now halfway through the work week. And here's some of the latest news in the global automotive industry. Interesting report from KPMG, the audit and consulting company, that interviewed 200 C-level automotive executives from around the world. They believe that Volkswagen and BMW will post the best growth of all automakers over the next five years. They also believe that electrified cars, including hybrids, plug-ins, battery electrics, fuel cell cars, and those with electric assist, will not exceed 15% market share before 2025. These auto execs say EVs need even more government subsidies, and they're far more bullish on investing in and optimizing the internal combustion engine. The National Auto Dealers Association has a new president. Peter Welch will now head up the politically powerful NADA. He had been president of the California New Car Dealers Association. That means he's dealt with some of the most vexing regulations affecting car dealers and the automotive industry. Very tellingly, he has a law degree and his career background is in law. The NADA represents over 16,000 new car dealers with 32,000 stores in the United States. Audi seems to be waging a battle against valet parking. Yesterday, the company showed off a self-parking car at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. Unfortunately, there is not any video available yet of that car. But about three years ago, Volkswagen invited us to their electronics lab in Silicon Valley, where they were developing this technology, and I was pretty impressed with the way it works. Audi says self-parking cars could be available by the end of the decade, and that Japan is likely the first place it will debut. Automakers keep teasing us with sneak peeks of what they're going to unveil at next week's Detroit Auto Show, but Nissan's taking a different approach. It's showing off its new global display stand. The amphitheater style stage will feature several levels for car displays, and it'll have a giant halo that appears to hover over the stage, which contains lighting effects. But the wildest thing about this new display is that it will periodically spray a smell into the area that supposedly is like green tea. Jeep just surpassed its 1999 global sales record and it sold over 700,000 vehicles last year. Global sales were up 19%. In the American market, they saw a 13% spike. Jeep plans to keep the momentum in 2013 with an all-new midsize SUV and a significantly refreshed Grand Cherokee that also offers a clean diesel engine. Chevrolet really needs 2013 to be a big year. The all-new Silverado comes out mid-year. The new Corvette is scheduled for late year. Somewhere in there is an all-new Impala, and they're going to have a full sales year for the Spark. And coming along with those new products is a new ad slogan. Chevy will drop its Run Deep mantra and adopt Find New Roads as its new calling car. One of the most innovative race cars of the last 40 years is the Nissan Delta Wing. It absolutely smashes the paradigm of what a race car should look like. It's proved to be very quick on the track, and yet the guy who designed the Delta Wing says there's a lot more speed to get out of this car. He explains how, coming up next. Dow Automotive Systems, driving solutions in automotive, commercial transportation, and aftermarket with innovative products like Betamate structural adhesives. Lighter, stronger, safer. DowBetamate.com. Ben Bowlby is the creator and designer of the Delta Wing race car. I recently got a chance to interview him and was astonished to learn he thinks they've only scratched the surface in developing this car, especially when it comes to aerodynamics. I always thought the Delta Wing was a stepping stone. I never saw it as an end game. It was about proving that outside the traditional regulations that govern motorsport today, you can be dramatically more efficient. And how do you do that? How do you 
double your fuel mileage, basically? And the answer is, what every auto manufacturer around the world is, is doing and showing here, you're going to reduce the aerodynamic drag, you're going to lightweight, and you're going to downsize. And then it's a cascade of efficiency. It just gets better and better. Uh, you need less tire on the car, you have less driveline mass. Everything kind of spirals into a more efficient direction. And this is proof in sort of one big leap that you can double your fuel efficiency. Well, everybody around here wants to double their fuel efficiency, and you know that they're going to do it by incremental changes to the powertrain, but by downsizing and having less power with less drag and less mass, it's going to work. We've seen certain changes in motor racing over the years. You know, monocoque construction, mm -hmm. rear engine, I'm thinking more Formula One mm -hmm. kind of thing, but do you think others are going to pick up on this? Well, it's quite interesting. I've, I've noticed a number of experts within the field, our great friends, of course, um, who have said, you know, give me 500 kilos and 300 horsepower and I could, I could thrash the delta wing, you know, with a conventional looking car. And um, I say, bring it on. Let's do it. Let's have a race. Let's actually prove who is the most efficient. And how we can do that is fuel flow control regulation and say that you can have this much energy per second, uh, gasoline or whatever, and um, let's bring it on. Let's see these hyper-efficient aerodynamic packages with lightweight and you know, good tire life. There are some very, very cool features in the Delta Wing that we weren't really expecting to encounter that do give us extraordinary efficiency and extraordinary drivability. And it's one of the reasons we were able to maintain lap time as well as we did and burn as little fuel as we were. Can you tell me what some of those things are without well, giving secrets well, no, away? There's no secret. This whole car, I mean, I want to publish the whole design of the car. I think it's a cool student project. It's, a, it's good for the kids. I mean, this is, this is an interesting story. It's a real story. But for example, you know, if you want to make more efficient underbody downforce, you need to make sure that the underbody isn't in the wake of the front tires, because the wake off the front tires has a hugely detrimental effect. So we've got this very powerful vortex generator down each side that spins two counter-rotating vortices underneath the car that makes the downforce, not needing wings or anything, and you need clean air to do that. You don't want to have a wheel right here. So it's a very... Um, you know, efficient car from an aerodynamic perspective, but then also the narrow front track has an extraordinary um, feature where um, it's actually more efficient for a tire to be um, very close, pair of tires to be very close together um, when trying to steer a car uh, than be far apart because you, you, you actually reduce the warp effect uh, of an uneven roadway or of uh, uneven uh, roll stiffness distributions. I mean, I don't want to get really complicated, but you know, there are some very cool features that give us extraordinary efficient performance. I think that Delta Wing will prove to be as transformational as when the first rear engine and monocoque Formula One and Indy cars came on the scene. You know, when you can get rid of the wings and use half the horsepower, that is truly a revolutionary design. Say, don't forget to join us for AutoLine After Hours this Thursday night when Peter DeLorenzo and I get into some of the best insider discussion in the business. And next week, we will be webcasting live from the Detroit Auto Show with an impressive lineup of some of the top executives in the global automotive industry. You're not going to want to miss that one. But for now, we bid you adieu. Thanks for watching and please join us again here tomorrow.